Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards, where we will explore the complexities of compliance and how to ensure business success within your RTO. This podcast is for anyone within the training industry who wants to learn from my experience as an RTO consultant, RTO manager, trainer and assessor, and entrepreneur, as well as the experience of other experts in this field. Listen in and let us help you become the RTO superhero you want to be. Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast, where we help you to solve the complexities of compliance. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the importance of compliance in training and development and how RTOs can work to ensure that their training programs meet regulatory requirements. As compliance heroes, RTOs play a crucial role in ensuring that the workforce is equipped with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed. So let's dive in. Why compliance matters in training and development. Compliance is an essential part of training and development for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it ensures that learners are receiving training that meets industry needs as well as regulatory requirements for the industry sector. This means that students are well equipped with the skills and knowledge that they need to succeed in their careers. Compliance also helps to protect the reputation of the training organisation and can help to build trust with learners, employers and regulatory bodies. From a legal standpoint, compliance with the standards for RTOs is crucial for maintaining an RTO's registration. The standards are a set of regulations that RTOs must adhere to in order to maintain their registration with the Australian Skills Quality Authority, ASQA, the National Regulator for the Vocational Education and Training, VET, sector in Australia. Failure to comply with the standards can result in a range of legal consequences for the RTO, including fines, legal action and potential revocation of their registration. This can have serious consequences for the RTO, including the loss of their ability to deliver training and the potential for reputation damage. Here's some examples of some RTOs that got into a bit of trouble. In 2016, Peacemakers Security Proprietor Limited had their registration as an RTO cancelled by ASQA due to their failure to meet the national training uh, standards. This failure to adequately assess the competence of their students led to the cancellation of 1,947 security and related qualifications and statements of attainment issued to 1,020 people. This had a significant impact on the affected students who had invested their time and money into the education with this RTO, but had their qualifications and statements of attainment found to be invalid. This resulted in them having to regain their qualifications through another RTO if they wanted to work in the security industry. This situation also caused reputation damage for the affected students and the wider VET system in Australia highlighting the importance of compliance with the national training standards for RTOs. Non-compliance can have serious consequences, including reputation damage, potential loss of registration, and the impact on the careers and financial well-being of students. It is crucial for training providers to adequately assess the competence of their students and to ensure compliance with the national standards to maintain the integrity of the VET system. In 2022, the Federal Court ordered an RTO to pay significant penalties for 11 contraventions of the National Vocation and Training Regulator Act in 20, uh, Act 2011. The court found that the RTO had breached the NVR Act on eight occasions between October 2017 and February 2019 by purporting to issue certificates for qualifications without appropriate registration. Additionally, on three occasions between December 2017 and March 2018, this RTO received and undertook assessment of part of the same VET course without registration to do so. 
In the court hearing, this RTO had to pay a total penalty of $23,000 and $45,000 in costs. The breaches had a significant impact on the affected students who had received qualifications that were liable to be cancelled as they were issued by this RTO outside of its permitted scope of registration. The Justice took into account that public confidence in the value of VEC training and qualification may be undermined when an RTO acts outside their scope of registration and that the scale and nature of the industry means it is important for training providers to adhere to regulations to ensure confidence in the integrity of the industry. This RTO had admitted to the breaches and cooperated with ASQA during the investigation and proceedings. An enforceable undertaking was previously entered into with ASQA to compensate the affected students if they wished to update their qualifications to the new courses. This situation highlights the importance of compliance with the NVR Act and the potential consequences of non-compliance. Operating outside of the scope of registration can undermine the integrity of the entire industry and put students' qualifications at risk. It is crucial for training providers to adhere to regulations and maintain public confidence in the value of VET training and qualifications. This was an example that I have used. I did not use the, I omitted the name of the RTO because I don't want to name and shame those RTOs are still operating and they did do the right thing in the end. So let's move on to five benefits of ensuring that your RTO is compliant with the standards for RTOs. Firstly, benefits to learners and students. When an RTO is compliant with the standards, learners can be assured that they are receiving high quality training that meets industry standards and regulatory requirements. This means that they are being fully equipped with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in their careers, which can lead to improved job opportunities and better career outcomes. Number two, benefits to the trainers. Compliance with the standards can also benefit trainers by providing clear guidelines for the delivery of training and assessment. This can help to ensure consistency in the delivery of training and assessment and can also provide trainers with a framework for continuous improvement. Point three, benefits to the RTO. Compliance with the standards can help to protect the reputation of the RTO and can build trust with learners, employers and regulatory bodies. It can also help to reduce the risk of legal action, fines or other penalties associated with non-compliance. Four, benefits to industry. When RTOs are compliant with the standards, it can benefit industries by ensuring that the workforce is equipped with the skills and knowledge they need to meet industry standards and regulatory requirements. This can lead to a more skilled and productive workforce, which can benefit the industry as a whole. Finally, the benefits to Australia. Compliance with the standards can benefit Australia by ensuring that the workforce is equipped with the skills and knowledge that they need to compete in a global market. This can help drive economic growth and improve the overall uh, prosperity of the country. Fortunately, in Australia, our regulatory requirements and our compliance standards have a high level standing across the world. Our qualifications in Australia, our VET qualifications in Australia, are recognised all around the world. And that is because of our strict regulatory requirements when it comes to compliance. Compliance with the standards can benefit learners, trainers, the RTO, industry and Australia as a whole by ensuring that our training programs meet industry standards and regulatory requirements and by helping to build a skilled and productive workforce. How RTOs can ensure compliance with the standards. How can you ensure your RTOs compliance with the standards? The first step is to be aware of the regulatory requirements that apply to your industry sector and your learners. This means staying up to date with the current changes or updates within the regulations for both the RTO 
and your industry sector and ensuring that training programs are adjusted accordingly. It's also important to have policies and procedures in place that are easily accessible and easy to follow to ensure that you have a continuous improvement approach throughout your organisation. This includes having clear guidelines for trainers and assessors and learners and ensuring that everyone involved in the training program understands their roles and responsibilities. RTOs should also conduct regular audits of their training programs to ensure that they are meeting the regulatory requirements. Regular auditing is an essential component of ensuring compliance with the standards for RTOs. However, while RTOs can conduct their own internal audits, it is important to engage a professional to undertake an external audit at least annually. One key reason for this is that an external audit provides an unbiased assessment of the RTO's compliance. External auditors are independent and have no vested interest in the RTO's operations, which means they are better positioned to identify any areas of non-compliance or opportunities for improvement. An external audit also provides RTOs with fresh perspectives on their operations. Internal auditors may become too familiar with the RTO's operations and may overlook the areas that require improvement. An external auditor, on the other hand, can provide a fresh set of eyes and new perspective, which can help RTOs to identify areas which they need to improve on. Also, an external auditor can also focus on what is the most important areas for you to focus on. Engaging a professional to undertake an external audit can also provide RTOs with access to the latest industry knowledge and best practices. Professional auditors are often highly experienced and have worked with a range of different RTOs, such as Vivacity which means they have a thorough understanding of the standards and what is required to achieve compliance. Additionally, external auditors are often able to provide RTOs with actionable insights and recommendations for improvement. They can identify areas of non-compliance and provide advice on how to rectify these issues. They can also provide guidance on how to improve processes and procedures to ensure ongoing compliance with the standards. Engaging a professional to undertake an external audit, at least annually, is crucial for ensuring that RTOs remain compliant with the standards. 